Alright, in this video we're going to look at displaying points in cross sections either as text characters or as cells. Um, to demonstrate this I have a corridor cut here with a very simple template so let's take a look at the points used in the template. Um, on my right edge of pavement, which is the one we're going to be looking at, I can see that I have a feature definition of road edge of pavement. So that feature definition is going to tell that point how to display. If I go here to my civil standards in my project explorer and browse down to road edge of pavement and do a properties, I can see down at the very bottom is the cross section display and that's the one that's going to control how this feature looks in cross section and I can see that it's using an element template of linear road edge of pavement. If I go in now and look at that uh, element template under linear road edge of pavement, I can see that it's telling it to use a active point, the character X, and it's telling it to use the extra small center center text style. Uh, so if I were to go and run this cross sections real quick and hit apply, if I zoom in on that right edge of payment, I will see that it is it is very small and it is using that X character from that text style. And the reason it's uh, the reason we have that uh, just there by default on that extra small text style is because in order for the features to be annotated using the annotate cross section command over here, we do have to have the display of that feature here um, showing in the cross section set. So a lot of these um, by default are going to be set to show very small characters. So let's say we want to increase the size. We can go in it. We can adjust the text scale. Or let's say we want to place a cell there, what can we do? Well, we can go back to that element template, and instead of placing a character for that linear road edge of pavement, we can change the active point to uh, display a cell. So we're going to display a cell in there, and there's one in there I like called target that we're going to place. And uh, for right now, uh, when we make a change like this down to point settings, we do have to toggle some other setting um, in the uh, in the element templates there just so we can see a change. So just so it'll accept a change, this will be fixed in a later build. But for now if we go back uh, to our 3D or to our default model and we go to cut the cross sections again and hit apply uh, by simply changing that uh, point to a cell then if we zoom in on our right uh, right side there, we see our cell representing the um, edge of pavement. This cell will also be displayed if we were cutting dynamic sections. So let's go uh, to our back to our default model, and we're going to cut some dynamic sections this time. And we're going to choose our center line, left and right. Uh, we'll start at the beginning at a 25-foot interval, and then we're going to locate our view. And even in these dynamic settings, if we were to zoom in on that left and right uh, point there, we'll see that the, um, the target is being used. The level display is a little bit different here, so it's displaying some different colors in there. But again, these are just dynamic settings, uh, dynamic cross sections intended to be, um, to be seen and viewed while, while designing. And then we're going to go to the regular cross sections during drafting. 